this video, I'm going to show you one of the best route combinations in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the bunch strong nasty in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. If you guys would like to get my entire Indianapolis offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, and it gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, the route combo we're going to be talking about today is dagger, and really the only reason we're calling this play is kind of a freestyle play. But you can actually create this out of anything. The main reason we're calling this out of dagger is due to the streak on the left-hand side of the screen. And the setup for this play is we're going to slot apprentice post our slot receiver. Most people have hot route master at this point in the year. We're going to streak our running back. We're going to flat our outside bunch receiver. And we're going to drag our tight end. So what this, what the purpose of this play is and what it's going to accomplish is going to create a three, a three-level flood on the left-hand side of the screen. So you're going to have a high-low between your post and your tight end with a nice little peak clear out streak that I think is really effective. And then on the back side, you kind of have a check down between this little flat and running back streak. So uh, our first read here is always going to be this left side. We're going to look to throw this streak quick. As you can see against most defenses, you're actually going to be able to do this. One of the more popular uh, blitzes in the game at this point in the year is kind of the free safety zone blitz three. A lot of people are running that defense Kind of something like what you see on your screen here and then this would allow them to maybe use of the slot so what we're going to do as far as throwing this and just a little advanced tip you can double team the nose tackle will make that blitz less effective but what you'll see here is if that safety on the left side goes into a deep third there's this massive void where we can throw this right at the seam quick and be able to attack the defense so it's a great little hot read it's a great little quick read especially for the way that the kind of general meta is right now in the game so what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to play a defense that looks something like this they might still send the blitz up the middle but in general they're going to have a yellow zone in that vicinity of the field so if they do then we're just going to quickly progress to our high low between our drag and our slot apprentice post as you see the slot apprentice post gets in a real soft spot of the defense and that slot apprentice post is going to need to be user defended. So what most people are gonna do here is they are gonna user defend the slot apprentice post and they're gonna take it with their, this R1 defender. Now, another thing that a lot of people like to do is they'll back off this slot corner here on the right side. It's not super important for what we're about to show you here, but this is gonna what this is what it's gonna ultimately lead to this backside concept, which is essentially a read between the flat and the running back streak. So. You'll see here they take the slot and then we can throw this kind of in this back pocket against against the defense. Now, again, most people are going to uh, begin to start to adjust to this play. And so one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to start backing the slot corner off and maybe putting him in a cloud flat. This will take care of other combinations you might have from this playbook. And then you're also going to uh, see a user of the post if they do run the post across. So a lot of times what's going to happen is, again, this flat is going to do a really, really good job of pulling this cloud flat to the sideline, and it just leaves this massive void where we can throw this route to the running back up the middle of the defense. So one of the best tactics that people are going to start to, to utilize really is a, a cover two on the left-hand side of the screen. So what you'll see is a lot of times it'll look something like what you see right here. And then, as you can see, though, this is going to – present additional problems uh, for them because basically what they're going to have to ultimately do is really just play a shaded down vert hook shaded out shaded underneath vert hook because if they if they run a covered shell like this we're going to be able to hit them up the seam and if they run a covered shell like this then there's not going to be a lot of pressure that they're going to be able to have access to but anyways if they do run this defense let me show you what's going to end up happening ultimately again they're still going to have to take that slot receiver across the middle of the defense so because they have to take the slot receiver right here, you'll see once he clears the vertical hook, you can actually throw that before he gets to the deep middle half uh, or to the deep half zone. So let me show you that one more time here. And again, like I said, a lot of times what's going to have to happen is this guy's going to have to be in a hook curl or a middle third, and then this guy's going to have to be in a hook curl. So they've got to have something to help them out in terms of their defense of the slot receiver and their defense of the of the solo wide receiver streak so there's a lot they have to kind of think through and pay attention to and really this this is why this running back streak is so good you see he'll kind of clear that vert hook and then i can throw that you know basically before he gets to the deep half zone this play is also really good against man to man it's one of my favorite plays 
in terms of just general, you know, a really, really good play against man coverage. I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. So if we do play man coverage, we'll actually send some pressure here. But in general, typically this guy would probably be manned up on the running back. This guy would probably be, you know, in some kind of zone, you know, but basically something like this. Now, chances are we will get some pressure here. So if we do get pressure, where are we going to look to throw? We're going to look to throw the tight end or this fade route off of a jam, right? That's another thing that you can do. So we'll just try to set up a little bit of a protection. And what you see is this tight end drag gets open over the middle of the field quick. So they have to kind of drop some zones or they have to kind of like, you know, think through that in man coverage, how they're going to play that. So again, kind of get them in the same in the same predicament that they were in previously where this defender now is going to have to drop out and he's going to have to play, you know, kind of a hard flat to take away the tight end flat. So they're back to a standard four four to five, uh, or I'm sorry, four to three down lineman rush, depending on obviously the formation they're running in the, in the defense. But in general, as far as man coverage goes, your tight end should win, your slot corner should win. And then what's really cool is this running back streak. You could just basically throw it away from the defender. And a lot of times it's going to just burn man coverage over the top. This play is multifaceted, very effective, can beat a lot of different defenses. And if you want the best offense in the game, in my opinion right now, it's either the Colts or the Jets. We have full ebooks on both of those playbooks in our Patreon, over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks. If you want to get access to that, you can join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.